Hey everyone, it's Lena here at Amore Fabrics. Welcome back again to my shop. If you're new here, don't forget to thumbs up, like, and subscribe. This is a crafty channel where I sell vintage crafty items for your crafty projects. I have an Etsy shop, which down below is the direct link, along with our Facebook group that you can be a part of and Instagram as well. What I have here today, which you guys can tell, I've been doing a ton of videos to show you what's new in the shop. I've been trying to make it a goal to do videos for each item I'm adding to the shop. I sometimes forget. Um, I don't want to forget. So now I'm just bombing you with a bunch of new stuff. <laughs> well, today is not only a new item I'm adding to the shop. It is also a gift with purchase, which each pack will get a vintage travel postcard. I did my best to make sure they're the most colorful and uh, gorgeous to go with each pack. So each pack you purchase, you get a vintage postcard kind of thing. This is the first time I have offered up vintage uh, maps and world atlases. So it's not only maps of the United States, but it's also maps of all over the world. So they're a pack of 30 and they're already in the shop. And those who know, I love Rand McNally. He's one of my favorite um, book uh, people who do books for uh, not only for children, but obviously travel as well. And uh, his, his book pages are always very colorful. And I just love the, how they are. And so I thought, well, I had a collection of his books and different other maps that I had. And I put together packs that are 30 maps, large maps. They're crazy large maps. It's, it's a great pack for your journaling covers. And um, so I'm going to measure real quick. I know I think it's 15 by 14 are the largest pages. Let's see here. Yeah, so there's 15 inches by, okay, this one here is 11 and a half. But I know there's others that are wider. Most of these book pages, because um, I did packs of 30, most of these book pages are uh, large. I do have a handful of smaller ones, which when I get there, I will measure them for you. But what you see pretty much is what you're getting. Obviously, it's not every pack is going to be exactly the states and countries that I'm going to show you because they're a random pick from all those different books. Um, I do have these two uh, beautiful book covers um, that are up for grabs. If anyone's interested, message me if you purchase a pack. Um, see what I could do to add them to the pack for you. Like this one here is absolutely gorgeous as well. It's just, and I left the, the pages inside just in case. But this one's great and large as well. All right, guys, let me dig right in to show you what the pages look like. Absolutely love the pages. They're large. Like I said, perfect for not only Mod Podging. I've seen people do uh, Mod Podge. Um, they also frame them. Um, it's perfect for Christmas projects that are going on right now. Um, and for travel journals, for those who are doing traveling journals kind of thing, but beautiful pages. And like I said, they're just very colorful. I love Rand McNally, especially his, like I said, his children's book pages. Look how gorgeous and colorful that is. Both sides, as you can see here. When I get to the very large ones, there's something really cool I want to show you too. I don't want to forget. Oh, here's the smaller ones. I wanted to show you guys the size. 12 by oh, about nine and a half are those pages so this pack here is up for grabs if anyone's interested in this pack itself i didn't take off the edges i've noticed that some people who do journals they actually like them so i haven't been cutting usually i do like a clean cut packs this time i didn't i've seen a, someone do a journal that had this little fringe on the edge it was really cool almost like as if you are sewing lace but instead it's paper which was really clever i thought but this one would be up for grabs. But first come, first serve. Just meant when you purchase the your package and say, Selena, I want this this package, um, I'll let you know if it's available. But I'll leave it right on top in case. Oh, I think this is what I was trying to tell you. Not that page. Coming up soon. Oh, here, this is a different size. This one here is 11 and a half by 15. That's right. I have actually pages that are larger. So I'm stepping my way up there. This one has like the, the names. All right, I'm going to speed it up. Well, here, this is a different size. This one here is 15 and a half by 10 and a half. Oh, here, this is what I was trying to tell you. This was really cool. On these pages, they had like little notepads to write what you want to write. And depending on the state, they had a picture of what that was. And I thought, man, that would be so cool. So when you do your a... Um, Science, but... Okay, had to take a phone call. So when you did your um, your journal, you can write on there. I thought it was cool. I noticed that a lot of the pages um, from this book was like that. I wonder if I measure these pages. 11 by 15 and a half. And I have larger ones coming. 
But I hope you guys like, oh, here, here's another one. See? Blue tablet paper, and then it has the picture of the, whatever that state is. Which one was that? Montana. All right, so we get this one here. We have Brazil. Oopsie. I know we got larger pages coming. Oh, here's smaller. I don't know if we did this size. Again, I did a great variety. I know you guys like your different sizes, and it's hard to find packs. Nine by mm -hmm. 11 and a half. So we've got those there. Ooh, look at New York. I have some New York friends. That's a cool pack. All right, are these the larger ones? Let's see. Yeah, this might be. All right, so the rest of them I'm going to show you. These are 15 and a half by 11 and a half. This came from that last one. All right, guys, there you have it. Now you kind of see what I have here. These packs are absolutely gorgeous. They're full. Um, when I ship them, I'm going to ship them folded in half without putting a crease. So when they fold in half, it'll be like this. And I'll have chipboard behind them without trying to bust or hurt anything. I'll put the more newer ones on either end like that. And then when I turn it, it won't be creased. It'll have chipboard from behind. I know I have chipboard around here somewhere. Ah, there it is. So you kind of have an idea what it's like. So we chipboard like this. It'll be rubber band. And then you have your vintage stamp right there with plastic around it kind of thing. All right, guys. I hope you guys like this daily deal. And I hope you get really cool postcards in the mix. And uh, enjoy. I'm glad I got to add these to the shop. You guys have a great day. Bye.